was baseball mad, had the fever and had it bad. Just to root for the hometown through every two. Katie Blue. I mean, all the guys are really easy to get along with. We all hang out on a regular basis, which I think is good for us because it creates a good nucleus for the team. Your resources are here to get better. Um, you know, a lot of summer leagues around here aren't going to be like this. You aren't going to have 2,000 fans a night. Well, if you ever want to play in front of big crowds every night and you want to have good coaching and, and have a great support of the, of the front office, Dan and Dan and uh, Rick do a great job supporting the players, giving them what they need to be successful. This is where you want to be for a summer. The teammates are all a bunch of characters. Uh, this is all good guys. Uh, some guys from uh, Wichita State, Johnny Coy, uh, from around here, so he's got the big fanfare and make fun of people. Like this guy, Johnny Coy, over here. I mean, Mr. Home Run himself. Look at some of the rankings from uh, the perfect game, the cross check. You know, we got up to eighth in the country for summer ball. And, you know, that means a lot. A lot of jokes going on. Like, we try to put like names on the lockers. These summer games to mean something. Uh, there's nothing better. And then we get, we get the crowds we get. and. Uh, it's intense and it's it's great. Other guys from all across the country. So that's the thing about a uh, summer baseball is you play with play with different guys from different schools and you get to hear their stories. I mean, if you if they're willing to come play here, this is a great place to play. I mean, city aspect, community aspect, playing aspect, the guys that we bring in, the organization, how it's run. Uh, you know, it, it's as close to pro ball as you're going to get. I mean, the way we structure it and the way we work it. If, if there's guys that are going to be drafted or guys that are going to want to go on to the next level, uh, this is the place that they want to start. The coach staff, the, the head coach is, from, is Matt Johnson from Northwest, and he knows the game, but he really knows what the summer baseball is all about. So to have fun, to work on your skills, and to really get some good experience against big crowds and other really strong pitching. Coach Johnson, he's a co coach up at Northwest, so he kind of is, he knows the area area really well, and I mean, he's a great, great coach to play for. He's a, definitely a, a player's coach. Uh, they're very good coaches, very knowledgeable guys. Uh, Coach Johnson knows what he's doing, knows what he's talking about. If you need something, he's really easy to talk to. You can talk to him anytime. Same with all the coaches. All the coaches pretty much handle everything. Like we have a, a, a pitching coach that handles just the pitchers, and then we have Coach Johnson does hitting and fielding. We also have another coach, Cameron Dodds, is a coach in Texas that uh, helps with it too. They always, you know, they always have you know good stuff to say, pretty positive. Definitely player coaches. You know. Always willing to help you, help you out if you're in a slump or something. So, you know, they're great guys. Oh, it's great, man. I mean, we get so many fans to come to all the games. I mean, we're always packed every night. I mean, we've got great fan support. 1,000, 1,500 a game or whatever. But you go anywhere else and it's playing in front of 100, maybe 50 people. You know, night in, night out, there's 1,000 at least. And uh, you don't get that very many places in the summer for sure. We get like 3,000 people in all every Saturday, you know, plus, so it's pretty cool playing in front of them. Enjoy going and watching them. They put a good uh, product on the field, and uh, two to 3,000 screaming fans can't be wrong. Well, I mean, we, we have a great fan base, whether it's uh, young or old. I mean, the, uh, the older ones have, have been here for quite a long period of time. They understand the expectations. Uh, in, the talent that they want on the field is, is very, very high, and uh, you know, the last two years we've had the ability to do that. But they've really embraced the Mustangs, probably because they put a great product on the field, and they've had some local players, which adds good fan support into that. And uh, they're always rooting for you, and if you do well, they'll come out and support you even more, and that's that's awesome. The young fans, uh, they treat them like Major League Baseball players. I mean, they want their autographs, they want to be around them, they want to shake their hands, they want to give them high fives. Words really can't describe it. it, uh, it uh, Gives you a big league feeling, I guess you could say. If they don't win, it's a shame. For well, it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Oh, it's a good town. Uh, love baseball, and they, they want to see good baseball. St. Joe has it, really embraced the team. I mean, it's, it's a great baseball town. St. Joe is it's an old but cool town, and you know, 75,000 people. There's a lot of stuff to do here. Uh, St. Joe, it's a nice town. Uh, this is my second year in, the, in St. Joe. It means a lot when you're playing in front of a crowd every night and uh, that understands the game. 
The city of St. Joe's is a great city. It's 75,000 people. Um, you know, it's got everything that you really need. It's kind of a miniature version of Kansas City. I played a bunch of other leagues in uh, the Northwoods. Had a lot of fans, a lot of fans up there. 5,000 a night probably, but I mean, we've had a couple games where we've had 3,000. Some game, I mean, every game I've been here, I think there's been at least 1,000, so I mean, it's, it's fun to play here. One of the better stadiums I've played in. It's by far the best field in the conference. It's in good shape in the field. They take real good care of the field. They're out there working on that all day, every day. Philwell Stadium is a historic stadium. Uh, Mickey Mantle, I think, once played there. You know, a lot of renovations have been made to it. Put in new lighting system. We've moved the walls in. We've uh, redone the grandstands, the press box. I mean, it is just a great venue to play baseball in. It's a beautiful playing surface. The, uh, there's been a, over, I think, over $900,000 of renovations done with the clubhouse, a party deck, new fencing, uh, upgrades to the stadium itself in terms of the facilities. They got the cool party deck out in right field. Um, it's an old stadium, which is cool to play at. You know, a lot, of, a lot of history and stuff there, so it's pretty cool. We got a, a beautiful clubhouse to play in front of two to 3,000 fans a night. Um, it, it's, it's a great place to play. It's my host family's awesome. I, I live out in the farm out in Easton, about 15 minutes away. Well, each player lives with the host family, um, and uh, they have rooms to themselves. Sometimes they have basements to themselves. It's almost like an apartment away from home. Uh, they cook their meals. Uh, they, they assist them in any aspect that they need. I actually go to school in Missouri Western and I'm a graphic design major, and uh, my host mom is actually a graphic designer. So actually this year, I'm actually doing an internship for him, and it's kind of working out nicely. Yeah, I live with the hooks here, and that's been great. They got a real nice house, and they take real good care of you here, so uh, that's, that's a big, uh, big situation when you go out for summer ball. You're like, I sure hope I get a good host family, and all my experiences have been good, but uh, this, is, this is probably the best. It's like their family away from home, uh, and they, they take care of them in every aspect. If they're willing to come play here, this is a great place to play. I mean, city aspect, community aspect, playing aspect, the guys that we bring in, the organization, how it's run. Uh, you know, it, it's as close to pro ball as you're going to get. It's a, it's a fun place to be, and uh, I definitely recommend it. And when you come up here, be ready to play. Yeah, you just got to come see the stadium, see the facilities, the, the clubhouse. Um, come, come watch a game or see film of a game of the excitement that uh, St. Joe uh, has to offer. I mean, you're going to see good arms. You're going to, you're going to play every day. You're going to play a lot of games, and it's a, uh, it's like that next level. The atmosphere is just incredible. Uh, I don't know. Words really can't describe it. If there's guys that are going to be drafted or guys that are going to want to go on to the next level, uh, this is the place that they want to start. Prepare yourself and give yourself the best opportunity to succeed. This is a good place to be. Besides St. Joe's a fun place to be. I mean, it's, it's, it's where you want to spend two months playing baseball. I, I know that for a fact. All these guys here go away, uh, and it's some of the greatest experiences they've ever had. The other day, we faced a guy from Missouri State who was a pretty high round draft pick, so a uh, lefty from there. I think he's a seventh round guy, and he's holding out trying to get some more money, and uh, he's been throwing real well up here. Yeah, it's a great time, man. You have to play in front of a bunch of fans every night. It's a great atmosphere, and it's a perfect group. I mean, for any night, any night of baseball. You see quality arms, and that's what you want when you go off the summer with wood bat. If you're going to hit them, then when you go back to college, you just have that much more confidence and you're that more prepared for the next level after that. If they want that experience and they want to be able to move on to the next level, this is the place to come.